Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by for another video. So today's video I thought I would do something a little bit different um, and hopefully interesting. So what I'm going to do is, it's kind of similar to a video I did, I think it's the first one on my channel which is planner sticker collection but also a little bit different. Um, so that I kind of just showed an overview of how I store everything in these binders. Um, but this is going to be my kit storage. Um, my kit collection and then how I actually choose my kits for the weeks. So how I decide what I'm going to use when. So in, in both of my planners. So I thought that might be interesting. Something a little bit different. Um, yeah, so to start with, um, I'm going to run through how I choose my kits for the week or the week ahead. Um, so traditionally, I work about a season ahead. So we're currently in, what season are we in? Spring. <laughs> so I'm looking outside and it's pouring with rain. And we're currently in spring. Um, so I'll have until the end of summer done. And then obviously once we move into summer, I'll have until the end of fall or autumn done. So I like to be um, a season ahead just so I know. I mean, traditionally I have to buy kits like about nine months in advance. So for example, it's spring at the moment. It's obviously September and shops are coming out with winter kits. So for us, winter is June, July, August. So I'm literally like nine, 10, 11 months in advance so I try and keep as organized as I can so I know what I have um, and what I don't need so that's why I do what I do um, so first of all I thought I would show how I select um, my summer kits so I've actually already picked them and I know what I'm going to use um, but I pulled them out and put them back in here so we could kind of do it I could do it on camera and show you um, so first things first is I have my um, very artfully done there. <laughs> I remember I was going to print and foil and cut these on my silhouette but the day that it happened the silhouette was just not playing ball so I ended up just cutting by, cutting them by hand and sticking them on. I didn't even care about foiling them I was just over it so but they've been there for probably I probably had this system for like two years now I reckon and I don't see myself changing it. It works really well for me so this is my seasons and travel, so I generally have two um, what, two categories, I guess, per binder. Um, I don't really have enough room on my shelf to do one for each, so two per binder works for me. So this is my seasons and travel binder, as I said. So seasons is at the front and then travel is at the end. So what I'm going to do, as I mentioned before, is show you how I select my kits for the week first and then I'll come back and show you um, a bit more of the storage side of things. So I do have um, my autumn or fall kits in the front. So I generally do um, autumn, winter and then spring, summer is like I don't do one for each season but more so just like I don't know I feel like some um, spring kits I would use in summer and some autumn kits I'd use in winter that sort of thing. So they go together. So to start us off, I have summer kits here, as I mentioned. So what I'll do is I'll go to my EC kits binder. As I mentioned, everything is in binders. This is a little sneak peek. Um, and I'll go in here. So for us, um, summer is December, Jan, Feb. Obviously, December is all Christmas. That's non-negotiable. Um, the first week of Jan is New Year's. And then I normally do one, maybe two weeks of um, Valentine's Day. So I don't really get to use that many summer kits. So I generally have to do ones that I really love. Um, but I'll get to that in a second. What I do is I come through and put down all the dates. This is the first thing in my sort of process. So I'll go through with my calendar and write out, if I don't have these little dates, which I've run out of for this year, um, sticky notes down so I know how many kits that I can use. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, actually that's Valentine's Day. So we won't count that. So I got six, seven, and then I might use this, which is actually the first week of autumn, but I might use this eight. So I have eight kits that I can choose, essentially. So we'll come back to this binder. So I have essentially eight 
weeks that I need to fill. So next thing I do is I come into my seasons binder first of all and I have a look and see um, what kits I've got. So this is my spring summer section. So as I mentioned I'm in spring currently so all of my spring kits are pretty much gone out of here except ones that maybe I didn't get to use which I think from memory I generally don't buy too many spring kits because I don't generally use them because of Halloween. Um, so I don't actually think I have any left over this year, which is, wow, I normally have lots left over, as you'll see with summer. So, starting off, um, I'm just going to run through kind of the kits that I've chosen. As I said, I have already actually chosen the kits. I just put them back in here for video purposes, but, um, I would run through why I would choose them, essentially. So... I'm going to flip through and pick my absolute must-haves first, so the ones that I know I 100% want to use. So um, this one is one of them, so it is this pool theme from Caress Press, so I just love the colours, that's what really drew me into this one, kind of those like pastel brights, if that makes sense, I just, I love it. I really loved her take on this art, I know a few shops did it. Um, and then I've just got a couple of extras, so I'll pull that one out. That's non-negotiable. Um, these two have been sitting in my collection for a long time, so I do want to try and move them on, but they're not non-negotiable. This one, Ariel, or I can't think of what it is, Thingamabob by Glam Planner. Um, non-negotiable, like look how beautiful that is. Actually, only just recently got this in my um, my haul. It came in the mail, and those colours are stunning. I can't wait to use that one. So that's non-negotiable. So I'll put that one aside. And at this point, I'm not counting. Like I'm not worrying about how. I know I need eight, but at this point, I'm just pulling out what's non-negotiable. Um, next is this <laughs> big thing. So, um, if you watched my haul, you would know I already had this kit from uh, two years ago, last year, I can't really remember. Um, but it's Glam Planner's older format, and I really struggle with the older format. It just doesn't have stuff that I need for a spread. So then what I did is I tried to buy stuff in her shop that I thought matched the colours. Like, I'll show you. Where's a good picture of the colours? Here. Um, so I went into a shop and picked up these this label sampler because I thought it matched pretty well, which it does. Um, so I bought a couple of those. And then I had a brainwave. Why don't I go and try and find some extras on like the buy, sell, trade or whatever? Um, which I did, but no one was selling the extras. They were just selling the full SPC kit. So I was like, why not just buy that as well? So now I have two kits with the exact same art. But they are quite a little bit different. I think they're... Glam Planner one has punchier colours, in my opinion. So I think I'm going to end up using, if you could focus, that would be great, Glam Planner full boxes with the SPC kit. However, I've kept them both in here because I'm going to, um, it'll just be, I'll use one one week in my main spread and then I'll use the leftovers in my um, B6 so it's not um, an issue. And then this one is absolutely being used. Um, this is from Sticker Guru, so a new to me shop. Um, and if you saw my haul, you would have heard me going on and on and on about her. Um, I put in quite a few orders and I just recently got them in and I am just obsessed with the quality. Like it is just amazing. So those are the boxes um, and it's already foiled in gold. So I've never used a pre-foiled kit before. Actually, why am I putting it back? Um, I'm very excited about that. Um, then, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to use this, like, I do, I don't know, I like it, but I don't, I don't really know how to describe it, um, I don't see myself keeping it, sorry, this, you probably couldn't see that, this is the May Mystery, um, from SPC, I don't know, I don't see myself keeping it and using it again, so I want to use it this year. So it's going in my pile. As I said, I don't really, I don't know how to describe it. I like it, but I don't at the same time, so. 
And then this one, um, I'm definitely going to use. This is also from SBC. Um, it's this like backyard kit. Um, I think this was exclusive. What's it called? Backyard Paradise. Um, yeah, I think this was exclusive, but um, I do really like it. So I'm going to use that. So now we're at the end of spring summer. So now I need to count how many kits that I've chosen. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I've chosen six. So now I have two more kits to slot in. So I think I want to use this one. See, so this is actually the, I think, is this a summer? or No, this is the spring mystery from Glam Planner, but I don't know. To me, this is really summery, like these colours, um, like those pastels are just real summery. Um, so I think I want to use this. I'm sure that I will be going on a picnic somewhere at some stage this summer. So I'm going to pop that in the pile and that leaves me with one kit. So I've had this in my binder for a long time um, from Caress Press. This is the last time, is that focused? Yes, the last time she was open, but I don't know. I, I just don't love it. Then we've got this one from Glam Planner, which I remember I bought it in like a, um, I don't know if it was a glitch sale or a random pool or something, and I was going to use it in my, I had a different planner back then, but a small planner. Um, but I don't know, I've just never used it. Then same thing with this one. I bought this at the same time, but I just really don't love it, to be honest. And this one, I bought this one as well because I don't have kids and I think this is kind of a kids theme but I was just going to pick the boxes that aren't as childish. And then we've got this taco kit. Again, I bought all of these at the same time but I just never used them so that was a great plan by me. Um, and then we, oh I think that is from, yes it is. These extras are not from this kit, they are from this kit. Lucky I pulled that out, hey? Um, and then I've got this June, is it June? I think June or July mystery, which it's really not my favourite. I don't like blue and pink together, but I love this artist. She is probably my favourite one that Elle uses. Um, I don't know, it's fun, it's pink. Let's do it. Let's do this one. So, that leaves me with my eight kits which I've got off to the side so for now I'm going to put this away and I'm going to grab my EC kits again oops it's knocked everything so you can see I've got them all in a pile here so I'm going to grab my EC kits binder um, I'm going to flip to okay so this is my first week so the 4th to the 10th of Jan um, so after New Year's, so anything that appeals to me about any of these kits for that week? I don't really think so. Nothing in summer kind of jumps out at me as like a, oh, you have to use this then. As I mentioned before, this isn't set. So for example, if I put this kit, this beach kit in, but I end up having a picnic, like I'll just swap it out. That's not an issue. Um, but I think for now, let's do this super summery. Um, beach kit. So I always put my full boxes on the front and all of my extras on the back. So that'll be my summer week one. And then I don't want to use, I try and split up like different shops. So I don't want to use all Glam Planner at once or all SPC. Um, then I think I'm going to use this mystery. So tuck the extras in the back and then pop that in the top. Um, and then the 18th, let's do Sticker Guru because I don't want to wait that long to use it. <laughs> I'm so excited to use it. Um, 25th to the 31st, so this is Australia Day. Um, kind of like, you know, Independence Day, 4th of July, but Australian, Australian version. So that's on the 26th. So generally, well not generally, that is a public holiday. Um, and in the past, we have generally had a barbecue or excuse me, had friends over for drinks or something. Um, obviously that's 
a bit in question next year as is everything but I think this picnic kit will be perfect and also the colours um, Australian national colours are yellow and green so that goes perfectly I think that's a good kit for this week and fingers crossed we'll be able to do something so I'll just tuck that in there and then next I think I'll do this monstrous um, double week um, so I'll just tuck everything in there and then as I mentioned I'm not going to use everything but I'm going to do two spreads out of it so I'll just pop that in there um, and then this is Valentine's Day um, so I think what I'm going to do is put this aerial kit in because if I don't find something that I like for Valentine's Day I'm going to use this kit because I think the Little Mermaid represents summer Valentine's Day pretty well um, and then if not I'll probably get rid of another kit that I've chosen to use that instead because I definitely want to use that one um, then I'm going to use the Chorus Press kit this one here and then last but not least to kind of wind down summer I think this one is kind of a good wind down so I'm gonna pop that in there so that is all of my summer kits so I'm gonna run through this binder and show you what else I've got in here um, for kits going forward okay so as you would have seen in my haul I just got all of my Halloween kits in so that was actually kind of what prompted me to do this video because my binder is rarely this full you will see that there's still a section missing but um, it's rarely this full so I am using this SPC kit from last year in the first well, this is next week and the first week of my Halloween spreads so I thought this was a good introduction one because it's not too um, like it's not too Halloween yes it's witchy and it's kind of spooky but it's not like you know purples and oranges and that sort of thing so I just thought it was a good introduction to Halloween um, then I'm using this shop which is sorry this kit which is from a new to me shop and it's called paper muse crafts um, I'll just take it out because you can't really see it like look at this stunning foil like just it is beautiful it's like the spooky magic the Jess art so this is Paris Disney's like haunted mansion idea um, I have been to Paris Disney so I love that um, Jess did this sort of collection or range of art um, so I'm using that and again another this will actually be my first ever kit with foil on it I know I said it for the other one but this one will be used first so um, very exciting there and then um, I'm using this I, I say this every time but I think it's called Foolish Mortals but I'm not sure um, it's essentially Haunted Mansion art from Glam Planner and anyone who doesn't know the Haunted Mansion is my favorite ride at Disney and especially at Halloween like when it is the nightmare before Christmas it's just I know that's not everyone's cup of tea but it is mine I absolutely love it like just <sighs> Like, how could you not like going through the ballroom and it smells like cinnamon and it's just like the attic scene, but it's all the um, Nightmare Before Christmas characters and I just, I could talk all day, but it's my favourite. So I love to use Haunted Mansion art for Halloween. And then for actual Halloween this year, I'm using this stay at home kit from Glam Planner. I thought this kind of represented this year, um pretty well like it, everyone's going to be most likely staying at home um so although we don't celebrate Halloween in Australia anyway I thought it was a good representation of the the year so I'll look back on it um and no that was 2020 oh yes that's a year that we couldn't do anything um so yeah I just thought that was a good one and as I said I have all my extras in the back that's just like the system that works for me I just know to look kit in the front um, stuff in the back then I have this spring mystery from glam planner and to be honest I'm not a hundred percent sure if I'm still going to use this if there is another spring kit which I mean there isn't but if there's another even anytime kit that I want to use instead I'll probably take this out um, I think I might use this in my 
B6 instead. Even though it was like it's a full kit and I paid the full, you know, 30 bucks for it. I don't know. It's just not my favorite. And I like to use kits that are my favorite in my A5 and then any other. Not that I don't like the kits in my B6, but you know what I mean. Like the cream of the crop goes in my A5. And then my other kits go in the B6. So this one might be changing. Um, then I have this Tarzan kit that Jess did. Um, kit is Jess Art. Um... I'm going to be using that. It could be used in summer as well, but as you saw, my summer is already like overflowing, so I just don't have room for it. Um, to be honest, I kind of wish I got the Glen Planner version of the Tarzan art. I'm pretty sure she released it just after this one because obviously she saw all of this art and didn't want to be like, oh, like I'm copying, even though she obviously had the idea a long time ago. Um, I don't know, there's just something about that kit that I. I'm obsessed with like I just love it I did like I still like this don't get me wrong but there's something about that other one so I don't know if I can pick that up I might change this out I'm not sure but otherwise I'll be using that kit and then this kit is a fiesta kit from SPC and this is perfect for mum's birthday um, she loves Mexican food and since we're probably going to be staying at home still by then um, we'll probably do some sort of like Mexican fiesta big food cook up for her so I thought that was perfect and it's kind of like party sort of vibes then we come to the blank section which is Christmas so um, I'm pretty sure this week is also Thanksgiving could be wrong again we celebrate Thanksgiving here in Australia even less than we do Halloween like it's just not a thing but I really like Thanksgiving art so I uh, just like I like 4th of July art even though that's celebrating American independence which has nothing to do with me I still like to use it, so I've ordered a kit from Glam Planner and that will probably go in here, if it's this week. I'm pretty sure it is. I hope it's not this week, otherwise I'm in trouble. And then I've got my um, Christmas spots, which I have I have only bought one Christmas kit yet. I'm really waiting on Glam Planner to release her. She has four custom art, um, and they're from my favourite artists that she uses, so... Fingers crossed. I'm sure they're going to be amazing. Um, I'm just waiting for her to release them. I'm a little bit nervous that they won't get to me in time, um, but I might have to just do a, like, send over my US box early one month just so I can get them. So, anyway, I then am using this kit from last year from SPC. Um, this is for my partner's birthday. He's a Christmas baby, so he doesn't generally get a birthday you spread because I can't give up a Christmas spot so I thought this art from last year I didn't actually use it was perfect mm -hmm. excuse me it's like a Christmas party so that's as close to a birthday in Christmas kit as you're gonna get so we're just gonna go with it and we've got actual Christmas week which is obviously very stressful working out which Christmas kit um, New Year's there is a kit from Caress Press that I have in my cart. I haven't bought it yet. I'm waiting for it releases this week. But it's like that. Um, it's from Silly Studio, which is one of my favourite artists. And it's um, like all celestial, like the night sky. Like it's absolutely stunning. And if I don't like any New Year's kits, I'm going to use that for New Year's. So like last year I did the Roaring Twenties kit. Um, generally, New Year's kits aren't really my favourite. I don't know. So I probably will use that here. Then you've just seen my summer spread. So I'm going to flip over. Um, the first to the 7th of March is technically the first week of autumn, but it is reserved for maybe another summer spread. Like if I need to move the Little Mermaid out of Valentine's into summer, um, it'll probably go here because generally speaking, February, March is the hottest months of the year, even though March is technically in autumn. Um, so it still feels like summer. Then we have a hopefully exciting little month ahead. So this, the wedding is currently scheduled for the 26th of March, so this is the third time lucky. Um, it was meant to be in April, then it was meant to be this coming Friday, and both got cancelled, so we're hoping for the 26th of March. Um, so I'm going to do a couple of wedding kits leading up to that. So um, I'm using the, I can't see, the Glam Planner, um, what's this, wedding art. Um, it's like foresty, which suits my vibe I maybe would have used this as a, as the wedding week it's just a little bit cartoony like I the one I'm actually using is just a little bit more realistic so although I really do like this one so that's two weeks before the wedding 
Then the week before the wedding, I'm using this stunning kit from Elle. Um, it is her, I think May or June, I think it was May, mystery, and it's the Celebrate Art. Um, actually, I have to show you, I can't not. It's so, it's my favourite kit she's ever done, no doubt, hands down. Don't even try and argue. Um, so this is the kit, like just, I, can't, I don't have words. It is the perfect party kit, and this is what's going to be used. I'm going to be using this box here um, for my hands or bachelorette weekend, which we're doing the weekend before the wedding. So I'm obviously this is all um, pending, you know, everything going well, but I'm trying to be positive. That's the plan. And then I'm very upset because this year I don't get to do a birthday kit because this is my birthday, March 20th. So I'm very sad I don't get to do a birthday spread this year because March 22nd, this is my birthday and then the wedding's this week. So my birthday's Monday and the wedding is going to be Friday. So don't get to do the birthday spread but I guess that's okay. Um, and this is the um, kit that I have... I had planned to use this in April so that's why all the... <clears throat> Excuse me. That's why all the overlay boxes are already on it. Um, so hopefully this goes ahead because, you know, I really want to use this. Um, so that is the wedding kit. And that is as far as we've got. So as I mentioned, I like to be one season ahead. So till the end of summer. And then I popped a few of these in just because I'm, you know, hopefully know what's going on. So when it comes to the end of spring so December um, I'll jump in and start putting in my autumn kits I'll generally speaking do them quite loosely first I'll just throw in you know my top kits that I have to use and then I'll come back after that and kind of start to refine it so um, so that is my plan ahead binder and one thing I probably didn't mention as I was going through especially the summer kits summer's a bit of a hard one because as I mentioned I have so few summer weeks whereas like autumn I have three months with not really anything no, uh, sorry in winter nothing happens in winter um is I'll go through and pop all of my kits in that I just did so all my non-negotiables and then any ones that I other ones that I want to use and then in the gaps I'll go in and put my anytime kits so I said I can't really show you in summer because I just I don't I have too many kits already but in a season like winter or spring especially um, I often don't have enough kits that I want to use so that's when I'll go and use my anytime kits and that's why I generally try and keep my anytime kits to an absolute minimum because I just don't use them I like seasonal art and seasonal kits in my planner um, not so much just generic anytime art so that's that's just me that's why a lot of the time you'll find um, I struggle to use a lot of mysteries because they're often especially from SPC I've noticed um, they're often any time which I know she does that on purpose because she doesn't want to do seasonal that's fine I understand that appeals to people but just not me I like seasonal kits um, so I often find any time kits and as you'll see I'll go through them just kind of um, build up in my collection and I end up having them for a few years I don't use them and then I de-stash them or a lot of the time I end up just getting rid of them because I can't sell them so um but yeah that's essentially how I how I do things how I do my binder and my plan ahead um now I'll go in and show my other binders and how I store the kits so um not just my seasonal one that you've already seen this one is my print impression weeks, which, no, actually, I thought it said PP weeks, but it just says PP kits. So I originally made this when I had a PP weeks, but now obviously I have a PP B6. So this works in exactly the same way. I just use this one back to back because I don't have enough. To, I do have enough. I just don't want to punch more. Um, so like that. But it works in the exact same way. So after I've done my A5, um, like go through and pick all my kits, then I go and of the ones that are left, I pick out the bitty kits and the ones I specifically want to use. Um, and then I will go through and if there's any kits left over that are bigger formats like mini or lux, but have been sitting in my binder for a long time, a couple years and I'm not using them, um, I'll use them in here. So I've already done um, September 
for this planner, uh, this binder. So I'm not going to sort of show you doing it, but I will show you um, the kits that I'm using. So I've just laid down um, this week, so I actually get rid of that. And then I'm using the, I'll show you the beauty format just quickly. So um, you get the four full boxes. Um, and then icons and then functional and then you get the functional page this is in all of Elle's kits um, and then I also bought the bottom washi for this one because I really love this and I bought these extras too but I don't do that for every kit so then um, so flipping over, I've also used, I'll move it over so you can see, um, I use Bitty Kits, or oh, no, they're, not, they're called B6 Kits from Sticker Guru, and these are about as perfect for a B6 as you can get. So you get nine full boxes, which I definitely don't need, but you get them, um, and they're a little bit smaller than normal full boxes, which is great, because that means you get more room in the planner. Um, you get date covers, flags, and then, you probably can't see that it's out of focus, um, all of these functional boxes, um, what are these called? Boxes. And um, then you also get washi, which you don't get in a lot of other kits. So, I love Sticker Guru's B6 format. So I've got two of her B6s there. I'm using some leftovers of Peter Pan, which if you saw that spread, you would know I showed what I'm going to be using. Um, I've got a Sadie Stickers kit, one of her really old format, which I can't use in my main spread. Another one of those. Um, the Glam Planner Tarzan. I've got just a Christmas placeholder. This is when Caress Press used to do personal kits. Like, look at this. So you get four full box. Uh, you get, yeah, you get five full boxes, which is perfect, and then you get not much else. Um, so I don't know if I'll use that. I've had it for ages and if not I'll probably toss it. Um, but I put it in there as a placeholder. Then we've got Christmas, New Year's and then I've got Summer from Sticker Guru, Summer from Sticker Guru, Biddy from Glam Planner, more Summer from Sticker Guru, um, an old Sadie Stickers kit. So this is an example, these are actually both examples of kits that I'm just not going to use in my main spread but I really like them. Um, and it's this one from Sticky Essentials. So this is from last summer. Um, and I just can't fit it in. So I've decided rather than chucking it in the binder for another year, I actually want to use it and I'm going to use it in my B6. So obviously I'm going to have more stickers than what I need, but that's okay. I can live with that. Um, and then same thing with this Palm Springs from SPC. I've had that for a few years. Same thing with this Glam Planner, um, and then I've just put one, I don't know why, put one autumn kit in here, and then, actually I did some autumn kits, just, this is just thrown in there roughly, I'm not necessarily going to stick to it, so, that is how I do my planning ahead, so if you ever wondered how you, I plan my kits, that's how I do it, so I do my A5 spread first, and then I, with my seasonal kits, I go through and put in Anytime kits if I have any, and then I will go through what's left and pick out my print impression um, planner. So that is it for my how I um, pick out my sticker kits. Now I'm just going to flip through my binders and kind of explain my storage. Okay, so next we're moving on to my seasons and travel binder, which you have seen my spring summer section. Um, so I'm not going to show that again, but you'll see my other sections in here. So first off, because this is the next season that's coming up in my main binder. So obviously I'm doing spring summer now and the next will be autumn slash fall, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I've got all of my autumn kits in here. So I've got this what is this? August Mystery, which um, apparently there was people who didn't like this. Everyone I saw, well, everyone I watched really liked it and I do as well. So um, I'm really excited to use this. Um, then I've got this stunning kit from Paper Muse Crafts, which is already foiled. Um, and I can't wait to try this out. Um, you would have seen I'm using her kit... Um, for like spooky magic in my main spread so that'll be the first time I'm using one of her kits um, 
so I'm really excited. I'm a little bit nervous because I don't know if that's enough boxes, but I am pretty confident I'll be able to make it work. Um, there's like heaps of stuff that, and if I need to, I can pull stuff in, but um, it's it seems like it's kind of, it's too much for my B6, and I her smallest format is $20 anyway, US, which is about 28 Australian, so I can't spend that much money on a B6 spread, so I can't use it for that, but it's just not quite enough for my A5, so I don't know, I'm excited, I'm really excited to try her out and see, and then hopefully buy more, because her designs are stunning. Next, I've got the July Mystery from SPC, and I absolutely love this from Jess. Um, I mean, this is autumn. Like, what else could you want? I, I don't know. What else? The leaves never look like that in Australia. We, we have four seasons, like we do, but the only thing that's different is the temperature. So where I live in Melbourne, it goes from like about 10 degrees Celsius, which I don't know Fahrenheit, I'm sorry, Google it, to 40-ish degrees all year round. So in summer, obviously, it gets to 40, and in winter, it gets to 10. It doesn't snow. The leaves don't change colour. Like, it doesn't really rain in spring. So all these, like, seasonal things are kind of a myth. So it definitely doesn't look like that, but I don't care. I like it. Um, and then this one was actually, I meant to use this this year just gone, and I made, I had my own overlays made for it, um, and then I didn't use it, and I don't really like it. So... I can't sell it because it's got my <laughs> overlays on it and I'm pretty sure people don't want that. Um, so I think I'm going to try and use it in my B6. And then the only winter kit I have so far is this September Mystery from SPC, which I think this is my favourite that she's done this year. I love it. As I said in this earlier, um, I'm a seasonal mystery girl. Like, give me seasonal mystery kits. That's what I want. I'm not a fan of any time kits. So, this is so far up my alley. It's not funny. So, thank you, Andrea. I love this. Then we've got spring, summer, which you've already seen. So, I'm not going to go through again. Next, we're into travel. So, you're probably thinking, why is this kit, which is Toy Story themed, in here? Well, because I bought it to watch for the week of Toy Story 4, but I never actually did that. I never actually used it for that. Um, and now I just don't really know when I would use it because it's not really my favourite. So I'm keeping it to for when I go to Disney, which who knows when that's going to be. Probably Disney World because I haven't... The last time I was at Disney World was... Six? Six? six years ago so there wasn't um toy story land they were in the process of like they'd blocked off the area for it but it wasn't built yet so i think i would want to use it for that um but yeah i just don't know where else i'd use it so that's why it's in here then i've got this new york kit which is the reformat and recolor of the fall i think it was september i think 2017 um and it was the New York art. And that was one of my favourite kits that Andrea has en ever done. I loved it. So when she brought it back, I purchased it again. Um, I'll bring it out. I don't love... And it's like, this is how old this one is. I don't love the new colours as much. Um, but I love the kit. I love the art. So I thought it was perfect for when I get back to New York with the subway tile. And she's done a kit, a New York kit since. And it's like mint green, grey... Um, tones. I can't think of it like what it's called or anything but you might know it um, and I absolutely loved that kit but I thought I didn't buy it because I was like well I don't need two New York kits like I'm how often am I going to go to New York and when I do it's likely only for one week so I reined myself in but I did absolutely love that kit um, but I'm definitely going to use this next time I go because I will definitely go back to New York I loved it um, then I've got a cruise kit, which, I mean, RIP cruising, um, this was a mystery, and we've been on one cruise, and we did it in Europe, and absolutely loved it, and I won't be nervous to go on a cruise again, obviously, once things get, you know, relatively contained, I'll absolutely cruise again, so I'm keeping this for that time, which, you know, that could be five years, but, you know, I'll need it, so I'm keeping it, 
Then I'm using this kit from Caress Press. Well, I'm so not using it. I've got it. Um, I think I'm going to use it for my honeymoon. I was originally going to use this next kit that you'll see because it's destination specific. But obviously we can't leave the country. So I don't think in six months I'm going to be able to go overseas. So this is more of a generic kind of kit. I also, if anyone's interested, I accidentally bought two of these. So I do have another one and I'm happy to send it to you if you want it. Um... Then this is the um, SPC March mystery, which I put this in here because it does scream water park. But I guess the thing is, we don't have water parks in, we have a couple in Queensland, which is a different state to where I live, which is like two hours by plane away. Um, so I might use it for that, but maybe I should just move it into a summer kit instead, because I do really like it. Um, I just... I don't know. Um, it kind of bothers me that this is a ripoff of Paradise Pier as well. Like, I don't know. At least try and make it look not. Like, this is literally you've traced over Paradise Pier and just changed the colours. But anyway, I do otherwise really like this. So maybe I will do it as summer instead. I'm not sure. Then this is the kit which I was going to use for my honeymoon. It's Bali themed which was perfect because we are going to Bali. Probably not going to happen. So this one I will save because I'm sure I'm going to go to Bali in the future. And then also pre-COVID which is you know kind of like before Christ. It's like PC pre-COVID in my opinion. Um, Egypt and Jordan is number one on my bucket list. So this kit is absolutely perfect for that. I will absolutely be saving it for when I go to Egypt because it's gonna happen. So that's all my general travel themed kits. Um, and in the back I have Disney. I don't know why that Toy Story kit's not in here. It probably should be. But these are the two Disney kits that I, excuse me, that I have. Um, and to be honest with you, neither of them are really my favorite. <laughs> if, not if, when I go back to Disney, um, None of these really scream at me for my main spread. I'll probably use them in my B6. So I'll definitely be on the lookout for another Disney kit. Because Disney is so special. Like I need a proper kit for it. So that is my seasons and travel binder. Um, so next one I'm going to go into is... So this one gets used quite frequently. Travel is very specific and then obviously my seasons I'm always pulling out of here to move into my main spread queue. And then my last kit binder is um, anytime and events. And this one is thick. Like this one's the thickest one. So I'll go through this. I also have a kit that I had out for something that I need to pop back in. So I'm just going to pop that to the side. So this is where I keep all of my kits that I know, no, that I have bought but don't have a home essentially. So they're not seasonal, they're not travel, they're not events, they're just like any time or anything. So um, I'll just flip through this. I won't go through it in depth because there is so many kits here. And this is generally the section as well that I end up de-stashing from because these are the kits that I just... I don't, as I've mentioned a hundred times before, I don't use any time kits. The only time I get to use them is really in winter and spring. And even then, I don't get to use that many. Maybe a couple a year. So, I have all of these which just do not get used. So, I've got this kit, this beauty kit from Elle from Glam Planner, which I'll definitely be using in my B6. I've got this house themed mystery, which again, I love. I just don't know when I'm going to use it. Like... I already have um, two moving kits that I'm going to use when we move house. I might um, like use it when we buy a house, I don't know, so that's why it's in here because it's just nothing, like it's nowhere. Um, I then have this kit from Glam Planner which I bought art, I also bought from another shop to use in my B6 because I liked her version of it, but I just don't know when I'd use this. When I go to Italy maybe, but I mean... Again, when's Italy? Maybe I should use move this to travel because I probably would use it when I go to Italy. This one, like Greece themed, again, I probably should move this to travel, but yes, eventually I'll go to Greece, I'm sure, but that's not going to be anytime soon and it's not really on my list. This kit I've had for August Mystery, I reckon this was 2018. 
I've had it for forever. I don't love it. It's been in my binder to use a few times and it's come out. So again, it just sits here. Um, I find it really hard to de-stash kits because, um, I don't know, Australians generally aren't really too into the American stores. And then I can't really sell it on the American buy-sell trade because postage is so expensive and no one wants to pay that, which is fair enough. So I kind of, I end up giving a lot of stuff away, honestly, which is frustrating because I spent money on it, but I'd rather someone else use it. So anyway, if you see anything you like, please message me or comment and I'll see what I can do. But um, I'd rather someone else use them than they just sit here. So then I have this um, April mystery, which I do like. It's a fun theme. I just, again, when am I going to use it? Yes, I could probably use it in summer, but you've seen my summer kits and how much room I have for summer. Not a lot. So, I don't know. Again, it just it just sits here. Then this kit, I really don't like this sort of throwback 90s kit. Like, I was born in 96, so yes, I am technically a 90s baby and I do know what all of this is, but I feel like people use it as a personality type and it's not a personality type for me. I just don't really, I don't know. It's not my thing. So I don't see myself ever using that. But again, I can't sell anything. So <laughs> it stays here. Then I've got this kit, which I really um, wanted to use. This was brought out right in the peak of like stay at home and that sort of thing. But I just, I just didn't get the chance to use it. Like I had another or other anytime kits that I picked instead. But I 100% will use this. Most likely in winter next year. Um... But yeah, this is just my problem with Anytime Kids. Same with this one. I love this. It's called Plant Mum. Or, no, it's called Glam, Glam Planter. And I love it. But I just, I don't know when I'm going to use it. Because everything I want is seasonal. <sighs> Whatever. Again, I had this in my lineup. But I moved it out. Because I had another seasonal kit instead. If I don't find a Valentine's Day kit. And I don't want to use that aerial kit that you saw. I'll probably use this instead. Um, but I love it. I just don't know when to use it. Same thing with this one. Stunning art. I might actually use this one in spring. Maybe. I'll take out that kit that I wasn't 100% sure of and I might move this across, but we'll see. Um, this kit from Sticker Guru, I just picked it up and I love it. Um, it does scream a little bit autumn to me, so I might use it then, but not sure. And then this um, desk kit I bought in a de-stash from Sadie Stickers. And I'm definitely going to use it in my B6. Um, I just don't know when. So that is my anytime section that you've heard me ramble on about. That I just don't know when I'm going to use it. This is broken. <laughs> and then we move into my um, events slash holiday section. So these are all over the shop to be honest. Um, but I'll kind of explain what each one is. So first I've got this moving kit. So this will be used for the week. Obviously we buy a house and then when we move in I'm going to use this. I've had it for a while but that's what it's for. Um, I then have this Thanksgiving kit which I have used in the past. But um, I really, I don't know why, I just really wanted it again. And I've had it now for a few years and it's just sitting there. Um, I also have this mystery in here. Oops, sorry for bumping the camera. This mystery, this like Mary Kondo which... I'm never going to use. I, it's just in there because I don't know what else to do with it, to be honest. Um, I then have the movie premiere mystery, which I'm not a huge movie person, so I'm probably not going to use it. But again, that's what I will use it for. Same with the drive-in. I absolutely love the drive-in, um, but I just like we go. You go to the drive-in, or we do. Like you don't really think about it. Like I don't know a week in advance to use the kit for it. Um, so yeah, then I've got a couple of birthday kits, so the guy birthday, um, the neutral birthday, and then I've got my prized possessions, my two SPC, the original planner party kit, um, these are like my favourite kits of all time, I've already used one, um, and now I've got two here, um, as backup, then I've got this Super Bowl kit, which, um, I was going to use for the week of our football grand final, which... It's not really happening this year, so that'll be saved. I've got this kit from Caress Press, which is like a girls weekend, um, which again, I'm saving for a girls weekend. I've got this shopping kit from Glam Planner, which I'm probably not ever going to use. It's just not really my thing, but it's in here because if I went Black Friday shopping again, like that's what I would use it for. I've got another birthday kit. It's the Dino Party kit from Glam Planner. 
Um, and then I've got another wedding kit. Um, so I've got this other wedding kit, which I heard, had already laid the overlays down for because I was going to use it. Um, but now I can't really fit it in. This, this one I was going to use for the honeymoon because I didn't have the barley kit at the time. Um, but now, obviously, I don't know when I'm going to use it. Maybe Valentine's Day. I've got the Twilight kit, which I'm a thousand percent using for um, August 13th, which is Bella and Edward's anniversary next year. So... I get kind of sick of winter kit, so it's nice to have something to break it up. And then I've got this baby kit, which I have no intentions on having a kid, but I don't know, I just really liked it. And then I've got this pride kit, um, carnival, this caress press mystery, which I really love for a birthday kit, which obviously I'm not having a birthday this year, but birthday kit. This gardening kit, which I'll probably use for when we move and we do the garden. I've got this graduation kit, which I will use for obviously when we when I graduate. Um, I do uni online, so I probably won't have an actual graduation, but I think I'll still use it that week. And then I don't know why this kit is in here. It's a Halloween kit, <laughs> oh, but that's it. And then that's everything. So that is my binder system. That is how I store all of my kits and how I select my kits for the week. I hope you found this interesting. Um, as I said, I know I've done something similar before, but I wanted to go into a bit more depth in this video. So, um, yeah, that's everything, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.